milkshakes. I'm here with my friend uh, Riley. Hi. And today we're going to be taking our house chaos dolls, or at least all the ones my friend knows, um, and comparing them to a royal cat. So today we're going to be dissecting the chaos doll, figuring out what um, royal cat's chaos doll has a story like that. And then we're going to basically be comparing them. Uh, so we're going to try to kind of make it fun. I don't know. But I decided it would be fun to film this. So let's get it's, into the video. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Okay. Let's spin the wheel. Okay. You guys can't see, but my friend is spinning a wheel right now. You got it. Lilith. Okay. Let me pull okay. up. So let's who Lilith is. Here we go. Alright, let me get a picture full. Uh, okay, that is definitely not Lilith. Okay. Okay, Riley, you explain who she is at least in the full season. So we're gonna be talking about full season Lilith here, by the way. Okay. So, I'm, by the way, I'm looking up on her Wikipedia page, so. Oh, yeah, I'm look at of, that Wikipedia I'm page. Yeah, so. Well. well. Alright, hold on, I'm trying to find, like, personality. Okay. Okay, well, I can just Or how about just, it. like, background? Yeah, background, so. Liv Clawhorn was born as the eldest daughter to Gwendolyn and Del Clawthorne. She was noted to be very independent from a young age. While her mother loved her dearly, Gwendolyn was much more attentive to her younger sister, Ida. She had a very cl close relationship with her younger sister to the point where she used a pain-sharing spell to lessen the pain of her injured sister during the childhood. As a teenager, Lilith attended Hexide School of Ma Magic and Demonics, as a potion student alongside her more troublesome sister, she was a studious, well-disciplined student and even served as team captain of the Banshees. During their adolescent years, both Lilith and Ida wanted to join the Emperor's Coven together. But unfortunately, there was only one spot remaining and a witch's duel would be held to determine the winner. Though Lilith was more studious than her rebellious and young sister, Ida was still a hard-working and powerful witch, to the point where she surpassed Lilith in, the, in power. The gap in power prompted Lilith to discreetly curse Ida in order to win the Emperor Coven's tryouts. Though Lilith was unaware of the severity of the curse at the time, instead believing that it would take away Ida's powers for a day and that by joining the Coven, she would finally earn acknowledgement from her mother. On the day of the tryout, Ida willingly forfeited the duel, and Lilith joined the Emperor's Coven by default. E so, unfortunately for Lilith, Gwendolyn was not present for her coven initiation. During her time in the Emperor's Coven, Lilith was monitored by Flora de Flora and rose to the ranks until she became the coven's leader. Her biggest task was to capture her rogue sister, Ida, and induct her into a coven should she succeed. Emperor Belos promised to rid Ida of her curse. At some point, Lilith took on Amity Blight as her apprentice. That's as far as, like, I want to read. Okay. So, basically, Lilith was looked like she was evil, in the full season, but she was actually just trying to do her sister a fable, I think. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, uh, if Bellows promised to get rid of the cults, that was almost like, well, if if I if Ida joins the Emerald's Coven or joins a coven, then the cults will be lifted. I don't have to worry about this anymore. Because oh. she was she was probably really guilty. Okay. Now we need to decide which... Oh, wait. Her personality. We need to do that, too. Mm-hmm. So, I unlike... don't know. Lilith, Lilith, she's kind of like the Tolmond. 
Yeah, it says, unlike Ida, Lilith is conservative, straight-laced, and generally law-abiding. She takes great pride in her role as a mentor and was initially surprised to see Ida at the latest convention, believing she had finally decided to join a coven, only for her sister to laugh the notion. She also had a tense sibling rivalry with Ida due to them being almost equal in terms of power and on opposite sides of the law. Regardless, she still genuinely cares for Ida. Yeah, that was cute. So, thinking about this, breaking this down, let's think what Royal Cat's character is kind of like that. She seems evil on the surface, you dig deeper, and it's more of that, and they kind of have so many close to them that they still care about, uh, that they kind of want to protect, but it doesn't gen- generally come off in that way. So, what would you think would fit that? Huh. Uh, uh, all that's coming to my mind is Maple Shade. No. But definitely like not Maple Shade. Shade. She was evil. And guys, if we seriously put that in seriously, you guys would freak. Mm-hmm. So let's not do Maple Shade. I'm, uh, I'm thinking, um... Huh. I honestly don't know. Yeah, we had no idea how hard Lilith would be, guys. Yeah, we had no idea. We thought that this was not not going to take a long time, but I guess it will. Okay, uh, Lilith, I don't know. Man, uh, nothing is really coming to my mind. With somebody who appealed to be evil, but she wasn't. Or it could be a boy. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Somebody who appealed to be evil, but wasn't. Shadow Sight? You don't know him, I don't think, Riley. But Shadow Sight was I know Shadow Sight. Yeah, you do know Shadow Sight. I forgot. Anyways, he was accused of being evil, but he wasn't actually evil. Yeah, it it was just he accidentally listens to... Ashford. Oh, yeah, she accidentally listened to Bellows. I mean, Lilith listened to Bellows. What? Shadow Sight listened to Ashford. They both made what? mistakes and listened to evil people. But did Shadow Sight have somebody that because he was he trying thought... to save? Oh, wait. Lilith also thought because, like, she was, like, because she would join the Emperor's Coven, she thought she was special. That's what, so if Shadow Sight thought he had all these cool visions from Ashford, they, he thought his parents would finally, like, respect him, you know? I mean, yeah, and also he thought he was special. So, yeah, I think Shadow Sight actually fits whole fairly well. I mean, he doesn't, I mean, they don't fit perfectly, but that's probably the one that I'm most feeling with. Okay, so it's decided. Let's get a picture of Shadow Sight. Okay. Hold on, let me check. What's a good no. picture? No. No, I'm what? trying I'm trying to um I'm trying to get Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, I'm trying to get a picture of Shadow Sight. Ooh, this is cute. Let's see if this works. It's this that the official alt that uh, here we go. All right, so there's Shadow Sight, and also Shadow Sight was like determined. He wanted to save the clans, even though he couldn't because he was just a medicine cat. He yeah, can't do oh, that. He also wanted to impress Puddle Shine, his mentor. Mhm. Okay. I don't know. Okay, what's the next character? Okay, spinning. Let's see this. Amity! Amity! Yes! Oh, we already did that. Kind of. No. I don't know. We We kind of did. We kind of did. We kind of did. Oh, yeah. We did that, but... But we should dig deeper into Mm -hmm. the personality. So... Okay, so... Got Amity. Oh, no. 
never mind. No, I'm looking up Amity and stuff. No, but I, I have this slide that I'm making. I have, like, a slide that I'm making. I have a slide that I'm making of all the characters. Oh my gosh, there's an Amity University. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay. Hey, you shouldn't have said that. That's giving off spoiler. What? No, I mean, there's like an actual Amity University in real life. What? Anyway, so there's Amity. Unpause. Okay, everybody. Sorry. Had to go eat lunch. <laughs> okay, anyways. Okay, I'm reading now. What? You're reading? Like, I'm reading, like, early life or something. Oh, you're reading, um... Like, her background. Okay. <sighs> nice. Yeah, I'm only doing, like, her early so, Amity Blight was the third child to Alador and Odelia Blight. As a member of the prejudiced Blight family, her parents had high expectations of her, while Odelia wishing her to join the Emperor's Coven after graduating high school. Her life at home was far from ideal to her her father's neglectfulness, her mother's controlling parenting, and her elder siblings' pranks. Amity and Willow Park had a very close friendship as children, spending a lot of time together, something that did not please her parents as they considered Willow to be of the lower class in the family. When Amity invited Willow to a birthday party, her parents exploded and threatened Amity that if she that if she didn't stop associating with Willow, they would make sure Willow would never be able to attend Hexide. For Willow's good, Amity had no choice but to end their friendship and demand her parents to befriend Basha and Scara. As a teenager, Amity Roll enrolled in Hexide's Abomination Path, which promised great opportunities for the future and became one of the most popular and intelligent. At some point there, she was captain of the Banshees, but later stopped playing it after she was caused an accident in which her teammates ended up injured. Everything she excelled at was the result of hard work and dedication, but in the process, she became incredibly competitive and acted more like a mean-spirited bully. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, and so she's, she's described as bright and competitive. She attends magic school along with Willow and Gus and later Luz and is part of the Abomination track. So she basically goes from a f- bully to a friend. That's kind of whole story. So what? Cat started out as rude and mean and then changed. That was Dust Pelt. Yeah, but did Dustbelt really go like that? Yeah. Yeah, let me I search forgot, him up on the I wiki. I forgot who he fell in love with. I'm gonna have to check it out. It was Fern Cloud. Yeah, see, Fern Cloud was really nice. I think like that's what softened him. Uh. Oh, guess what? I don't know. I don't know. I... Hey, hey, what? I learned a cool thing. So, like, Amity was only, like, bullying Luz because Luz was a human. And Dust felt bully Firestar because he was a kitty pet. Oh, my gosh. That is so, like. I mean, well, I mean, Amity bullied everybody, kind of. I mean, she yeah, bullied, because she she bullied Gus and Willow. Off. Wait, who was Dust Pelt mentored by again? Uh, Dustpelt. Dustpelt. I, think it, I think it was Dark Stripe, right? You... Wasn't it? Let me check. Uh, I'm gonna check. Mental. Uh, yeah, Red Tail, then Dark Stripe. Yeah, hold on. I need to check. Just make sure. Mentors. Yeah, Dark Stripe. Okay, I guess Dustpelt then. Yeah, so, like, I mean, Dark Stripe was evil through and through. Yeah, definitely not Dark Stripe. I think, like, I mean... I mean, Leopold, about... Leopold still kind of acted evil for a bit. That was that was because she didn't realize what Target Star was doing, so that doesn't count. 
Yeah, I guess that's so true. I think Dust Pelt. Okay, let's see who we get next. Plus. Okay, I'm spinning the wheel. Boom! Who is it? Um. Lose! Lose, yay! Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, I think everybody. I think you know about Lose, right? Not like, not like the whole shebang. Well, she's kind of the same throughout the series. She doesn't generally change. No, there was such a cool image of her. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, then it, like, talks about her, like, and her relationships and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, hold on. So let me see her personality. Luz is a kind-hearted, outgoing, eccentric, geeky girl. She is eager to find her place in the world and to be accepted for who she feels she truly is. I don't know. That like... sounds like Firestar. No, but Firestar wasn't funny and geeky and stuff like that. Well, Firestar struggled to fit in. Yeah, but he was most serious about it, I feel like. Ooh, can we do ROCs, please? If, like, we can find... Wolf our... Hall... Did Wolf Hall try to get fit in? I don't know, but there's no... No, no, we're gonna do actual royal cats, okay? Okay, let me... Huh. Um, maybe Shadow Sight? What? We only have Shadow Sight. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. That was Lilith. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> um... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, was, was somebody that Daisy? I know, who, I know who Luz is like. What? Who? Cinder Pelt. Cinder Pelt. She never tried to be accepted. She was normal. Uh, well, like, I mean, she wasn't kind of accepted by her mentor. Like, Firestar kind of thought she was, like, too jumpy a bit. What? Oh my gosh, Riley! Yeah, that does that is literally is nothing like being an entire different species in another world. We're not doing Cindel Maybe midnight. Midnight? Oh, midnight? No. Midnight, but midnight's like ancient and very wise. Yeah, but also I don't. I don't. I still don't get it. How is Midnight, like, lose? Midnight is super wise. Yeah, lose is know, but, like, not wise. Yeah, then again, like, lose or meant, or meant Midnight was kind of, like, first, like, suspicioned at first, you know, because she was a badger. Holly Pelt, she was part of the three before, and she was the one who knew Neville only. She didn't have any powers, but everybody else did. Uh, but she was, like, loyal. Not super geeky and stuff. I know, but that's probably the close that there is. Okay, so guys, we couldn't find an exact one, but it was Holly Leaf. Oh I yeah, why did I say Holly Pelt? <laughs> I said Holly Pelt! <laughs> Holly, listen, okay though, Holly, Holly Pelt is another character, so. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, so let's... She's, she is she is not a very well-known one, but it's still a okay, character. All right, let's spin... Ooh, wait, I need to find a good image of Holly Lee Folst to put in the slides. Okay. Okay, got one. Got one. Spin the wheel. Okay. Wheel is spinning. Edric. Edric, let's go. I don't know. Man, 
I don't remember a lot about Edric. Uh, I mean, he's basically just an insect. He's basically just a teen. Trying to find it. Oh, found him. There's nothing super special about him. Yeah. We can still check, though. We can still check. I know, I know. So, what is Edric like? Read the royal, but read, read the wiki thing or whatever. Yeah, hold on. So, I'm trying to find his early life. So, Edric Blight was born to the Blight family as the second child. From a young age, Edric and Amara were witches of incredible talent and boasted a seemingly perfect reputation. However, the youngest Blight, Amity, knew that her older siblings had a penchant for trouble and often tattled on the two. At some point in their early teenage years, Edric and Amara scored high scores on Hexicide Placement Exam and were enrolled into the Illusion track. And his personality says, Edric is an easygoing and friendly boy, but he is sh shown to be quite a nasty prankster, along with his twin sister, Amara. Who? This is he enjoys having fun. He's also quite rebellious, re refusing to attend classes and preferring them to skip instead. Oh! Who? Oh, I don't know who that is. Who? That's Graystripe. Graystripe, yes. That is so Graystripe. Oh my gosh. Oh, but we need to tell the people why we think it is. Yeah. Graystripe, I, mean, I don't know. Graystripe is kind of outgoing too. I wouldn't say he's generally a prankster, but he's like really bubbly. Bubbly. I, I love his character. I, I mean, Graystripe. I love Graystripe's character so much. He also is kind of rebellious. Yeah. He's a good friend. I don't know. Yeah. He's also a very loyal deputy. And I swear, him and Firestar would get up to mischief all the time. Oh my gosh. Imagine if um, Aaron Hunter made them gay. That would, that would ruin the whole thing. It wouldn't generally ruin it. I don't know. It would kind of just... I honestly like them better as friends, though. So. Yeah. And plus... She can't make them gay, so. Yeah, that would be that would be mean. How would it be mean? Like, like, warriors is such a good thing. Like, I mean, I don't really think that gay would ruin it. I think gay would kind of ruin it. Gay would not ruin it. Anyways. Okay. I mean, gay's fine. Can you believe like we found a character for Edric that fast? Yeah. Okay. I actually can because we did. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're removing the characters that we've already done off the wheel, right? Oh, I haven't right. done it. So, remove Lilith. Mm-hmm. Edric. Mm-hmm. And... Amity. Yeah, and Amity. That's it. No, and Luz. We did Luz. Oh, yeah, Luz. Okay. Let's spin it. Wheel spinning. Oh my gosh, we got Gus! Yes! Gus, purple. Let's go! Okay. Oh my gosh, how did, how did, um, how did, like, he get, how did Gus get so tall? What do you mean, get so tall? Like, when you look at his pictures, he's really short in, like, the first season. But, like, when, like, the first picture, which is, like, casual, he's super tall. I don't get what you're saying. Uh, never They're literally the same height in both pictures. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Actually, wait. Okay, oh my so gosh, you're right! Ha! Uh... <laughs> He's so different! How did I not notice that? Uh, oh my gosh! It's like, it goes from like a little boy to this full-on teenager in one season. That's hilarious. Okay, so Augustus, oh my gosh, Augustus sounds so bad. 
What do you mean, Augustus? Like, oh, they call called... they always call him Gus, and it's honestly a better name than Augustus. Augustus is way too long. Yeah. Yeah, probably, like, only bullies call him that. Or maybe just Porter. Anyways. Yeah, so... Uh, wait, I know a lot about Gus. Gus is kind of, like, the small kid, but he... So he's, like, the small kid. Oh, Gus is, like, this nerd, you know? He's not a nold. He just... Like, people people sometimes think he is. He's not a nold, and also he knows a it's lot. Like he's very enthusiastic and excitable, and when mm-hmm. Gus gives him his nickname, he flips out in sheer joy. Yeah, and he also he has a very interest in another species. I don't know. Yeah, What's look, is there a cat that was like super excited to join the clans? Oh, what? I only know I know two of them. Who? But I think the more excited one. I think it was Cherry. Cherry. Known as Cherry Tail in Sky Clan. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Her her brother was Boris. Yeah, Cherry Tail. Oh my gosh, I love her. Anyways. Yeah, but I can't choose both of them. But I think the more excited one was Cherry. Cherry Tail. Yeah, and she's kind of springy. Yeah, but she kind of was a jerk at the beginning. Yeah, I guess she was, actually. Like, I mean, she attacked Firestar. She did? Yeah. Huh. Well, anyways. Yeah, and so... All right, let's... All right, have you Okay, I'm trying to find some good out of hole. Yeah, so hold on, let me... I think that those multiple Cherry Tails. So just say Cherry Tail Sky Clan in there. So I'm gonna delete that. Okay, Cherry Tails. Okay, we've only got five things left. Oh, wait. This video is honestly going to be the longest, but pe- but it will be worth it. Yeah, and plus, I'm going to... i probably edit some of this down. I don't know. I'm going to try to make this interesting. I'm going to try to edit it to make think, it more interesting. I think, like, all, when you go it over, you'll see how interesting it is, and you can see if you don't want to edit it or not. I know. Okay, next character. Okay, let's spin it. And we got ah! Oh my gosh What Who we, we got King Ida. King No Ida Man I thought it was gonna be King What's wrong with Ida? I don't know I just thought it was gonna be King okay. Sorry I just thought it was gonna Oh my gosh you can't see this, but this is so cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you talking about, like, her harpy form? No, it's actually not her harpy form. I don't, it doesn't actually her, look very cold. Oh, her owl beast? Okay, oof. Okay, some of this all work is pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna have to blow this stuff. That's how bad it is. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to look for her personality. Who wants muffin? Okay, so she so confident and sassy. Ida is best described as rebellious, with Luz calling her surprisingly foxy for her age. Her vast skills and aptitude in witchcraft give her a brash streak as she proudly declares her power and openly defiant of authorities, going as far as knocking the guard unconscious and flying off to avoid getting caught. Who do you think that's like, honestly? I don't know, like, I don't know, Brightheart? Well, Bright, oh yeah, Brightheart kind of suffered too, you know, it wasn't yeah. a cur- it wasn't a curse, but still, it was kind of close. Yeah, so she, oh, I know she got attacked by dogs, and that was kind of whole cold when she was younger. Oh, and yeah, then, she like, she, but she was curse. still a really good warrior, and then she was still kind of sassy. She's yeah. kind of sassy. I feel like Brightheart. Yeah, let's do Brightheart. Brightheart. 
Okay. So. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much. That was a lot. So much cool fan art of I love that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Pick... All right. Spinning the wheel. Let's okay. See who we get. Wait. Um. Okay. picture of Bright Hall in real life. Oh wow. Bum 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 bum. Oh my gosh. Why why does why does Willow have like pigtails? What do you mean why does Willow have pigtails? She like has pigtails and like golden glasses later in the series. Yeah she does. I think they look better. No honestly I think her bob and her black glasses were way much better. Hmm. I don't okay. know. Look at her personality. So she's a bubbly and friendly witch. As first, she was sh shown to be shy with Amity, as she calls her half a witch Willow, and often made fun of Willow's poor capability of creating and manipulating abominations. <gasps> Ooh, I know who she's like. She's like Aldo Hall. She was super bad at abominations. Aldo Hall was super bad at medicine. And then when she tried the plant track, she was actually really good at it. Just like how Aldo Hall was really good at medicine. Aldo Hall was super bad at medicine. Yeah. And also, also I don't know. Aldo Hall. I wonder, if, like, I wonder if also she like struggles to please her parents. No, I think her parents are fine. I think her, her parents are nice. Aww. Okay. Okay. Equals auto. How many um, how many cats? I mean, how many characters do we have left? Three. Okay, let's just do one more because I don't want this video to be crazy long. Oh, why? Because I don't want this video to be crazy long. All we have is Amara, King, and Hootie. Can't we do King and Hootie? No. We're doing one more, okay? Okay, so I'm deleting the other two. Wait, no, just spin the wheel. We'll decide on the last one. Or we'll decide on the last one. Oh, hold on. I need to bring them back. Oh, I'm bringing them back. Okay, let's spin. King. We got King. Okay. Alright. I know King is like, he's like, he's basically super powerful. And then he kind of wanted something, and then when he got it, he realized he didn't want it anymore. Wait. How did, like, his horn grow back and, like, he got a mark on his collar? Well, he, his, no, he always, there was always, like, um, Ida had his broken horn. I don't know. It's, like, an episode. It's hard to explain. Okay, so, personality. King is a loud, feisty, self-centered, expressive, lazy, and comedic, and constantly laughs at anything that gives him enjoyment. Mm-hmm. Hi, Who? Who do you think that's like? I have no idea. Well, let me try and think. Hmm. I don't know. Who's, like, super powerful but doesn't... Duckwing? No. No. Maybe Ivy Pool? Jay Feather? Oh, yeah. Jay Feather. Oh, wait, but Jay Feather's not comedic. No, I don't know. Like, those... Yeah, he's not, but sometimes he can actually be pretty funny. Have you seen the J Feather X Stick fan out? Like, it's so funny. Oh, wait. I think I... I think he's like, um... I think he's a bit like, um... Hmm? 
I honestly think he's um, a bit like, to... he's like actually a bit like Kestrel Flight. Kestrel Flight? Oh, it okay, talk. guys. So I I accidentally told my computer off. So, anyways. I don't know, is it like Kestra Flight? Yes. Was it not like Kestra Flight? Ugh. Yeah, I don't think it's like Kestra Flight. Not at all like Kestra Flight. I think the closest king is, is Jay Feather. Yeah. Okay, so Jay Feather it is. Jay Feather. Yeah. Alright, guys, we are. Wait, 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 let me find a cool. A little thing so that we can complete my slide that I've been making. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have Lilith as Shadow Sight, Amity as Dust Pelt, Luz as Holly Leaf, Edric as Gray Stripe, Gus as Cherry Tail, Ida as Bright Halt, Willow as Olo Halt, and lastly, King as J Feather. I'm sorry we couldn't do Imara and Hootie, but... We yeah, more, more we don't have the time, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, though. I if you want to part two, we mad. can... We If you want to... If you guys want to part two, we can do more minor characters, and we can do Imara and Hootie. So yeah. if, this, if this gets... Uh, if this gets over 10 likes, I'll make a part two. Yeah, hopefully, like... We'll have, I'll have watched more Owl House video, um, episodes, and that way I'll know some more characters that I can share with you and not get spoilers. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's, that's all for today. Bye! Bye!